What key elements should you include in your stories that most speakers underemphasize or don't use at all? The answer to that question will be found in this daily dose of public speaking wisdom. Recently, I was reminded of an important concept in storytelling that most presenters overlook. It's called the memorable moment. This is the part of the story where a lesson is learned, a, an attitude is changed, a perspective is altered. Structured properly, these moments will stick with the audience. Here are a couple of examples. When I introduce my backstory and I talk about why I got into coaching and, and professional speaking in the first place, it has to do with the humiliating experience I had in first grade. I was told to stand on a desk during nap time as punishment for standing on a desk during lunchtime. I still haven't figured out why that was a punishment, but no matter what, it was a punishment which sent me a very bad message about standing in front of other people. I was humiliated and embarrassed, and I promised myself I would never stand in front of people again. I was six years old when that happened. It affected me for a quarter of a century until... I sat in my boss's office one day, and he told me in no uncertain terms that if I didn't become a better presenter, I would lose my job. I had to deal with the problem. The memorable moment in that first story about in first grade was standing on the desk. Many people can relate to that humiliating experience. They've had their own. Another memorable moment comes from the story in my boss's office. It occurs when he's reading through all this negative evaluation. I mean, it's just, I was too, talking too fast, too much information, moved too much. People just were totally thrown off and did not like my presentation. When I asked him, Joe, is there anything good in there? He said, yeah, hold on, there's one. He flipped through some pages, looked down and said, yeah, here it is. Mike has nice hair. That moment illustrates just how bad my presentation was. The only thing somebody could say that was positive was about my hair. To this day, people still give me a hard time about that. We have fun with it now. Many evaluations I get, they'll include, oh, well, you have nice hair. Thanks. What about the rest of the speech? Memorable moment, though. People are still talking about it. As you're preparing your stories, are you creating emotional moments that drive home the point of your story that stick with people. You do that and people will come to you years afterwards and tell you how much they remember, even if it is just about your hair. I'll talk with you in our next Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom.